for the lovely preparation. Yeah, it was super awesome. Hmm. So, what kind of dance moves should we do? What about this? Hop, hop, hop. Whoa! Wow. So you can dance? How did you do that? Well, actually, I used to be a great dancer. I used to be able to stand, uh, walk, uh, and dance, you know. So, so what, what happened? happened? So one day, a few years ago, I got into a bus. And the bus got into an accident. When I woke up, I found my mama, aunt, and the doctor really happy to see me alive. And Dr. Alpha explained to me that I had thankfully survived the accident. But the accident had caused me a spinal cord injury. A spinal cord injury? That sounds bad. But why did it affect your legs if it's in your spine? Yeah, uh, so Dr. Alpha explained it to me like this. The nervous system is the communication system of the body. It sends messages from your brain through your spinal cord, then onto the rest of your body. So for example, when you want to walk, your brain sends messages to your legs to move them. Those messages pass through your spinal cord and down to your legs, then your legs move. If you want to run, your brain sends a message to your legs to move faster. It goes through the spinal cord and your legs move faster. But then, when my spinal cord got cut, it was like when you cut an electric wire and electricity doesn't pass anymore. Those messages couldn't get through to my legs anymore. Oh! Can the doctors reconnect the spinal cord wires to make the message get delivered again? Like the way electricians reconnect a circuit when it gets cut and then the power comes back? Hmm. Interesting. I don't think so. Not yet. But maybe we can keep studying science to find a way to do that in the future. So I couldn't feel or move anything from my waist to my feet. My brain would know I want to wiggle my toes, but since the message didn't go all the way there because communication was cut from my waist to my feet, my toes didn't get the message, so they couldn't move. Dr. Alpha also told me that, depending on the injury, for some people, communication is cut off in some or all areas below where the injury was. So if the point of injury is around your neck, then you'll not feel anything below your neck. This is called tetraplegia. If the point of injury is around your waist, then you'll not feel anything below your waist. This is called paraplegia. So now that you understand, tell me, do I have tetraplasia or paraplasia? Um... Paraplegia? Yes, that's right. I have paraplegia. Because for me, communication is cut off below my waist. I am not able to move my legs, but I can still move my arms. I see. So that's why I can still wield yourself and do other chores and activities. Like dancing! I was sad to lose the ability to feel or move anything below my waist. But I'm glad I can still use my upper body and arms to move around and dance. Wow. Thank you for sharing that with us, Nuru. I'm so sorry I went through all of that. It must have been very hard. But you're so brave and inspiring. You're... What's that word again? Resilient, because you kept pushing through even when it was hard for you. I love how you dance. And I'm so sorry. I assumed that you couldn't dance just because you're in a wheelchair. That's okay, Kibena. Can you teach us your moves? Yes. Can you please teach us? 